I am almost ready to paint. I've got everything filled and sanded to my satisfaction. What a job. Seems like it never ends getting it to the point where you say, okay, that's ready for paint. But I'm there. Major amount of body work. I'm doing a bash here, cutting a body up and putting it all back together with all the seams. But at this point, um, I'm going to put these on the sponson rods, tape up the aluminum sponson tubes, and that way I'll be able to set these, block these up, flip them by grabbing hold of the rods, paint them top and bottom one shot. I'm going to, for the tub, drill and mount the, not mount, drill for the uh, strut and I'll put a long screw in that for support in the back put a sponsor rod through here tape that so it can't move and I'll set that so I can pick it up by both of these sponsor rod going through the tub screw in one of the holes that I drill for the struts and I'll be able to flip it so it'll be setting on the sponson rod, two blocks, third block back here in this, on this screw. And I'll be able to do the same thing, reverse that to paint both sides, spray both sides. So I'm going to be using a pre-ball system and get this drilled, set it up, I'm ready to paint. Here's the Preval spray system. You get a glass jar. It's graduations on it for mixing your paint. In my case, two part epoxy paint. You have these aerosol cartridges with a pickup tube. And then I bought the handle and it simply snaps on the aerosol cartridge like that. Nice tight fit because you're going to be supporting the aerosol cartridge and your paint, your glass jar with your paint. So there it is. Pre-ball spray system. And you have a pretty much like a spray gun. Nice control for painting. Simple setup. When these run out, throw them away. They should, I think they have more than enough aerosol in here to do six ounces. So I probably won't be mixing up that much paint for each each painting that I do, but that's the pre-ball spray system. So here's my paint setup out here in my shop. It's a mess, it's a pole building, got a wood stove. Got the blower going. Got some stack temperature. 550. She's nice and warm in here. But here's what I got for my setup for painting. These are an extra set of sponsor rods that I cut off too short. Those are my sponsor rods for this boat. But I put this, I end up putting it's a metal rod, just a, I don't know what it is, 332nd music wire, and I ran it all the way up to this sponson tube and zip tied it. So it's just, you can see, supports it, so I can flip it, set it back on these boxes. So the Preval spray system works beautiful, 
no complaints with the spray system. My issue here is <clears throat> this class coat epoxy paint. It's, uh, it's a coverage issue. So I had to do, they say six to one. You mix one to one the, um, the uh, paint, but then it's a six to one ratio to thin it is what they recommend. So to thin it to where it sprays, you can see I have coverage, coverage issues. So like this back deck, where it's just sitting flat, nice coverage sprayed up, that's done. But both of these components here, I tried painting them, flipping them, and I got some runs. So I actually have two coats on here. And the second coat I didn't thin, and there's a little screen you can take off on the Preval system. I'll include a picture of that. But for thicker paints, that's what they recommend. Take that little screen off the bottom. So I did that and laid down the second coat. And it didn't have the issues running, but it's still a coverage issue. And towards the end, as it was setting up, you can see like a couple splats, splatters. It was getting a little too thick for it to atomize it. So I think my last coat is what I'm going to have to do is let this set up really cure all the way. I'll have to wet sand these splats of paint. There's a few places here right there on the sponson. So I'll have to wet sand that out. You can see here where it went the paint actually ran down the back of the spots in there and puddled so I have to wet sand that after it cures there's more splats on the bottom that's where it, I was doing the bottom coating bottom layer um, when it started setting up on me so I'll wet sand them and then I think I'm gonna have to do this like I brushed my RSX 380 I would do a surface just mix up enough paint to do the top surfaces. Let that cure, flip it, do the other side. That way, like this back deck lid here, you can paint it. Like that I put, there's probably three coats on there. Lay down nice, no run issues, no spatter issues. So, definitely, a fan of the Preval paint system works beautiful got a little ways to go on this paint job here